Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to use MyPsychNet to personalize your search experience in APA PsychNet. We'll demonstrate how to create an account and how to use it to save searches, create search alerts, share search results, and much more. To get started, open APA PsychNet. Click on the My PsychNet link on the upper right-hand side of the screen. If you are using APA PsychNet through a yearly Gold, Gold Plus, or Platinum package, or if you have purchased a PsychNet Direct Day Pass, then you already have an APA account. In this case, enter your ID and password to sign in. If, however, you are using APA PsychNet through your college or institution, you will not automatically have an APA account, though you can create one for free to manage your research. To do so, click on the link that says Not Registered, located just below the login boxes. This link will take you to a registration form where you'll be asked to provide your name and email address and create a user ID and password. Once you fill in your information, agree to APA's privacy and cookie statement and complete the security check. Click on the register button and you'll be ready to get started. Let's start by conducting a quick search on the benefits of pet ownership. In the search box, I'll type pet owners with an asterisk at the end of owners. Using an asterisk will capture articles that talk about pet owners as well as articles that talk about pet ownership. We'll click on the search button to go to our results. On the results page, there are several buttons on the upper right hand side of the screen that you can use to manage your search. Click on the Save icon to save your search. Once you do, you'll be prompted to give the search a name so that you can easily identify it again. Once the search is saved, you can rerun it at any time by going to the My PsychNet link, also located on the upper right hand side of the screen. You can also generate a permalink to share your results with other APA PsychNet users by clicking on the icon located just to the right of the Save icon. If you want to know when new articles are published on your search topic, create an email alert or generate an RSS feed by clicking on one of the last two icons. While these options are great for managing the overall search, you may also just want to save one or two of the results you find for future use. To do this, I'll click on the box next to the article Friends with Benefits on the Positive Consequences of Pet Ownership. Next, scroll up on the screen to the star located just above the search results. This link will send the selected item to an APA PsychNet feature called My List. To access the results at a later date, click on the My List link on the top right hand side of the screen. As long as you're logged into your My PsychNet account, you'll be able to access these items for as long as you need. From My List, click on either the All button or click on a specific item. Once you do, you can export, email, or print the item or items by clicking on the corresponding icons just above the results. When you no longer need an item, you can remove it by clicking on the Delete from My List button. You can also organize your search by adding tags or notes to items. Let's wrap up this video by quickly walking through some of the features you can access by clicking on the My PsychNet link located right next to My List. As I previously mentioned, you can go to My PsychNet to rerun your saved searches. In the Save Searches tab, you'll click on the name of the search to rerun it and access the results. From this tab, you can also edit, share, or even delete a saved search. In this Psych Alerts tab, you can not only edit the email alerts that you've created, but you can also set up additional alerts for APA journals. By doing this, you'll be notified when key journals of interest come out with new issues. The PsychNet Purchases tab is where you'll access any articles or book chapters that you've purchased using PsychNet Direct. Also, if you signed up for a Gold, Gold Plus, or Platinum package, you can use the APA PsychNet Purchases tab 
to access these items. Last, the My Profile tab will allow you to make changes to your username and email address you've attached to your account. In summary, MySecNet is a great resource for managing your search and its results, creating alerts to stay current on new research, and accessing purchased items. Once you set up an account, it's as easy as logging in and using the MySecNet features to organize and manage your search. Thanks for watching. For more search tips and strategies, please see our YouTube channel or visit the APA website.